Welcome back, friends. Last we left off, I just found this genie lamp. And I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but there's a whole other section of this room over here. It's gonna be great. You stay here. Oh, look. Progress. Picked up the crowbar. Picked up the tender box. Picked up the letter. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. <laughs> May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? What? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly, I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Dude, there's like a lot of wine all over this freaking castle, man. What a bunch of alcoholics. Look at this. That's ridiculous. Like, all the blood you see in this game is totally just wine. Trust me. Trust me. That was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, hello. What is that a painting of? It's like a bunch of people walking down the road, and then there's this weird person they're all talking to. That old dude is their leader. <laughs> Follow me to victory. Oh man. It's messed up. The door is stuck due to a broken lock. Luckily for us, we just found a crowbar. That was kind of obvious, right? Right. <laughs> Broke something. An important key is hidden in the things, buddy. Can I get my crowbar back? Really? Did you break a freaking crowbar in a wooden door? Come on. What the hell? Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Come on, Amnesia. Make it a little less obvious. I'm not that bad of a gamer. What have we here? The pills are the key. <laughs> Wait, there was a letter. Don't leave the letter, man. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The yes. orb is assembled. I was Victory. awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Nice. The ancient stone relic now rests on it's my like a table. Rubik's cube. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. What? All right, let's check these drawers and get the hell out of here. That drawer doesn't. Wait, what? No! <laughs> 
Does this work? Uh. Don't panic, man. Let's just crack this a little bit. Because something is going on down there. Out there. Oh, that's Satan. Uh, did you? <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Oh, my God. What an idiot. What an idiot. Look at that guy. <laughs> Doesn't check the closet. What a noob. I don't have to be afraid of that guy. He sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> um. <clears throat> it knew, man. Like, it was. It, as soon as I opened up that closet, it was like, oh, I'm gonna walk in here. I think somebody's checking my closet, but then he didn't even- Can I open that? What the hell? Is that locked or something? There's a chair somehow blocking it? Get out of my way. I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Empty. Did I already check these? Probably. Let's just get the hell out of here. I have the machine room key, right? Find the key that locks the door leading to the machine room. Right? Yeah, machine room key. Perfect. All right, back to the hall. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings, and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. So this is like one of those, uh, th what the hell? This is like one of those things the kings use to stay in power or something? Study. Have I been to the study yet? Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Oh man. I don't remember if I've been here. It all looks the same. Do I have any lantern? Oh, barely. I probably shouldn't use it. Yes. Dude. Somebody in this house liked some science. A man after my own heart. Is that a dog? <gasps> you know what's up, box? Dude, there's a lot of freaking dead people in this house. That sucks. I don't want to think about that dog. Because he sounds like he's kind of hurt. But he's probably going to kill me, regardless. Alright, so I guess that's all in this room, right? Just one tender box. That makes sense. I need a freaking light, man. I'm not gonna use my lantern. I need a light. <clears throat> taste. That fragrance. What? <laughs> he is way too excited. Hello, letter. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weir. The most remarkable thing happened. As I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer, I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is inexplicable, as the Heliodramas described. Wait, as the Heli who, who? Heliodramas? In the Hordus Conclusus. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich contrast was not enough to describe its nature with the possibility. I prepared a cup of wind and As you can understand, in the most important discovery of my life, but it also come to be my greatest fear as I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. That's a long letter. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. The end.
That was the abridged version. Alright, so basically some dude found some rock and then something was running after him. And I don't have any fuel, so I'm not going to use that. So something was running after him and then he ran and he came across these two guys and they died. And he thought he was safe. Signed Agrippa. Did I check these drawers? Those aren't drawers. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, friends. Subscription buttons at the top middle. Next episode is on the top right. Next episode, what are we going to do? We're going to find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. And hopefully I don't run into that dog. Until then, friends. Oh! <laughs>